That's it. This is old hat for Bill Moore. He's an electric vehicle pioneer, having started a magazine focused on EVs back in 1998. I've been involved with electric vehicles for uh, close to 24 years now. He might be the last person you would expect to have car troubles. Last summer, Moore was a scheduled speaker at an energy conference, but he could not make the entire trip. His car did not hold enough charge to go from Omaha, Nebraska to Lincoln, Nebraska. I would have had to sat in Lincoln then after having given my 20 minute talk for the next three and a half hours to get enough energy to come back to come back home. The fear of getting stranded in an electric vehicle has a name. It's called range anxiety, and the latest data shows it's keeping people from buying electric cars. More than half of those in a new Edmund survey said range anxiety is keeping them on the fence. It's just a different experience owning an EV. Chris Harto of Consumer Reports says for now, planning ahead is something electric car drivers just have to get used to. You plug in at night and you have a full tank every day. But on those longer trips, you do have to plan out a little better and, you know, it takes a little bit more time to charge up. Depending on a charger's power output and the size of a car's battery, it can take anywhere from 15 minutes to several hours to fully recharge. Finding a charger on the road outside of urban areas can be a challenge, but that could soon change. America is building convenient, reliable, equitable national public charging networks. The Biden administration is devoting seven and a half billion dollars from the new infrastructure law to combat range anxiety. The goal, build a half million chargers nationwide in hopes of luring more drivers away from gas. It's huge. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm told me drivers will start to see chargers in places they would not expect as soon as this fall. Is seven and a half billion of investment enough? For the charging stations, it will be. We want to have a charging station at least every 50 miles. We want to make sure people are not anxious about being able to find a place to charge up. Until then, charging at home can meet the needs of most people. Federal data shows that before the pandemic, the average American drove about 40 miles per day. Most electric cars sold last year had a range of 230 miles. Even for Bill Moore, a little range anxiety is worth it for a future without gas. For so many of us, we can actually live with the shortcomings of an electric car and be completely happy. I am. <laughs>